I'm Helene Weiner. I'm one of the owners of Metro Pictures Gallery, which is the gallery that Cindy has exhibited at, and we've represented her since the very opening of our gallery and the, really the beginnings of her career. Well, there are many favorite works, of course, over time, but I really focused on one of the very latest portraits a woman standing in a study or library. These portraits look as if they were either commissioned as a private portrait, as paintings once were, or they were a shoot for a magazine article. She appears to be living somewhat in the past. Her study has old portraits and drawings hanging all over the wall. She looks rather theatrical. She looks vaguely beautiful or as if she once were very beautiful. She has this very erect posture of maybe an actress or dancer. Obviously someone who is not willing to gracefully age, but would rather still represent herself as a strong, powerful, seductive, influential person. Men and women respond very differently to Cindy's work. Women especially understand with age what you cannot fix with makeup what you're trying to do by applying certain things, wearing certain things. And this all shows in these portraits, where the men are far more interested in the character themselves. They wouldn't look at the little skin that's puffing out in the arm sleeve or a foot wearing shoes that are too tight. They would be looking at uh, the female and what they think of her. The more sexy or beautiful the women, the more the men are attracted to them. Or possibly if they look like their glamorous and wealthy mother. And these women who stand far larger than life and are full of intensity and energy and details, are imposing figures, the kind of stunning vanity that one doesn't see often. So there's something that these women really have at stake. There's a real confrontation in encountering the photographs, even if you're in a gallery or museum where you're expecting to see large artworks. These are people, and that you're standing there inspecting them, and they have a lot of secrets they hold. Uh, I was director of artist space, and she was the receptionist there for some time. And she'd already had a show at artist space, along with Robert Longo and some others from Buffalo, New York. We, I just gave Cindy the job because I liked her and she needed a job, you know. And then she started doing the film stills, and she would bring them in periodically in a binder with the, the eight by tens in them. And everybody just went crazy. We just loved them. Everybody or anybody seeing them would have responded exactly the same way. And she had one roll of film, and she and from that roll of film, were she rejected maybe one or two, and they were all different images. It, it was uh, truly remarkable. You know, it wasn't like they had to grow on you or you had to hear about them somewhere else. It it was an immediate comprehension.